Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Happy Friday. I'm so happy you could be here. Pikmin, Josh, anybody else who's just hanging out? Lovely to have you here. Uh, Josh, I'm very sorry to hear about the bad sleep and random muscle cramps. Um, at least for me, both of those are symptoms of severe stress, so... I don't know what options you have to reduce stress, but see if you can try something. Um, but yeah, I, I do hope things get a little better, uh, because you certainly deserve it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be returning to Xenoblade Chronicles X in just a moment. Uh, we're going to be continuing with the story today. Uh, although... As I've said before, story quests tend to be quite short in this game, which I think is a positive, because the focus is much more on the world and on meeting people, on exploring the city of New LA. The story drives that, but if you just go from story quest to story quest, you miss out on a lot. That's why my Wednesday stream was focused on side quests and affinity quests. I'm going to have a few more of those mixed in in future because they are important to building the story. But that is enough, uh, enough messing around. It is time now to return to the game. I say that while not actually switching my scene. I still love this opening music so much. It's just so good. Uh, give, give me a second. Um, Gummy, my cat, is doing a very silly thing. Uh, I will be back with you in literally a moment. Apologies for that. Uh, I am back. I have averted a terrible mess while it was still a small mess. Okay. And there is... There is quite a bit we can do at the moment, but as I said, I do want to focus on the main quest for a variety of reasons. Uh, you can see in the top right, we've seen this before, Global Nemesis spotted, Telethia Plume. Fuck, I want to try it again. I failed so badly last time and I think I figured out a little bit of why. But before I do the main quest, I know what I promised, but I need to try to fight this thing again. I mean, last time, even though I didn't win, I still got shit out of it. Nothing amazing, but I got some rare-ish items. Maybe I can do the same this time. Uh, the reason I'm going out of the city... I realize I did not explain that, is just to do some smaller fights to build up my TP. You need 3,000 TP to start overdrive, and especially against tough enemies, the sooner you can start overdrive, the better. Now it's my turn. Now, it's my turn. Now, it's my turn. 
The target I aim for is generally around 4,000 PP instead of the minimum of 3,000. Just because it helps things flow a little bit better. try to take on a Telethia, it is a very, very difficult task. There is no denying that. I'm still hoping I'm able to do it eventually. And this is not a matter of levels, unfortunately. It's just a matter of tactics and possibly equipment. Uh, I think getting better as uh, a better augment would help me. And on top of that, uh, the Telethia has some special abilities, which I don't think I've been paying attention to. So, uh, let's grab a fourth. No reason not to. Uh, level 26, you are not super useful to me. Level 30, no. 35. I'm level... Actually, anybody above level 35 will all end up at 35 anyway. Okay, so only one person was even 35? Yeah, you can help me, Amelia. Amelia is a level 35 winged viper. So, possibly also somebody going for an infinite overdrive. Thing. But since they're AI controlled, that probably won't happen. Okay. This probably isn't going to work. But damn it, I need to try. going terribly. Uh, 
uh, it does more damage the lower my health. And I have an art that cuts my health in half. So I do have some good synergy on my attack. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it is uh, it is what's called an ether type attack. Ether being the equivalent of magic in the world. And the Telepia does sometimes go into a state of you reflect or ether damage, which means my super powerful attack becomes a super deadly attack against me. Walking. I've got him below 50% health, which is not terrible. I'm taking damage over time now, and I'm not sure why. I wonder if this is what's been killing me. God, Electric Surge is powerful. Oh, I hate getting launched. Oh, okay. We lost the sound there for a second. It's okay. Uh, we've used about half of our time. Unfortunately, only me and Linda. Because Electric Surge uh, is an ether attack. Which means if I use that now, it will kill me, not him. Uh, 
Okay, I don't know why his health filled up again, but it makes me very sad. Man, I do not understand this fight's mechanics at all, apparently. I mean, I've still done much better than I've ever done on this fight before. But I'm not going to get through this inexplicable second health bar. Oh, I just fucked myself over. Wow. I I clicked over to the wrong thing. Fortunately, you do get retries. Um. But yeah. So I died there because I used an ether attack while he was still reflecting ether. Which sucks as a thing he's able to do. Oh my god. Oh, I see now. Oh good. Oh good. Good, my capture card has decided not to be a capture card anymore. Uh, today is just a day of every kind of thing that could go wrong. Not so much in stream. Um, but uh oh I, at work, things went interestingly. Oh, we're back? We're back. That was easier to fix than I was expecting. Uh, anyway, so you see there, RP stolen, one. Global Nemesis RP remaining, I don't know what RP is, is 2.2 million. So it has 2 million life bars, which no one person is expected to to beat but apparently you should be able to beat like 80 of them which is ridiculous uh but i got some really good shit out of that a uh, guardian's left wing a fragment torn from the left wing of the ruler of fates oh capture card down again no okay um cool uh, if I can't fix this in about five minutes, I'm just going to cancel stream and and we'll, we'll figure shit out from there. Um, I'm going to go to my technical difficulty screen. Um, I'll be back in a couple of minutes, hopefully, or not. We'll see.
In theory, we're back. Well, I say in theory because I have no idea and trust nothing at this point. Um, yeah, my capture card has been giving me issues and it's like, I don't think it's a year old yet. Hmm. Hey, thank you for confirming, Pikmin. Uh, okay. Anyway, I got Guardian's left wing. Gather as many as you can for analysis to determine their worth. Uh, Telethia mirrors, which is material obtained from defeating him, supposedly. And Vogue Hibiscus. Uh, this is, surprisingly, a piece of armor, which has the effect Weather Master 7. Um, now, Weather Master is just an effect that makes... Uh, that makes weather negatively affect you less and positively affect you more. So those are all nice things to get. Uh, and the fact that I did actually manage to... I'm not going to say beat, but fight uh, the Telethia makes me reasonably satisfied. Um, I, I don't know how I would do better than I did. But I'm glad I could do as well as I did, which is better than I did on Wednesday. But also, why does it have apparently 2.2 million life bars? I mean, I know the reason. No single person is meant to beat it. Um, the idea is it is a thing you fight online and everybody works together to defeat it. But why does it have 2.2 million? Now, although, before we do the next quest, I do want to check if there's any new cool equipment. Oh, Pikmin. I'm not... I'm not kidding. And I don't mean 2.2 million hit points. No, 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 no. I mean... <laughs> That entire life bar that took me, like, nearly eight minutes to empty, that represents, um, you see in, uh, in the right hand box there, global nemesis, uh, RP remaining. Uh, I don't quite know what RP means, but what I do know is that when I beat it, I I removed one RP. One. Getting its entire life bar to zero did that much. So... So yeah, this is a challenge. Uh, th there are a couple of... Uh, there are a couple of other quests. I don't care too much about these to be honest um you can get cool stuff from them but my focus is on the big stuff oh um in the right hand box near the top uh global nemesis rp remaining and beneath that current appraisal one that's what I've managed to do. Uh, <laughs> so, so this is certainly a thing. A global nemesis battle spoils. Um, oh! Okay, I've got to spend some reward tickets, apparently. A pig! So cute. <laughs> I juice, no you. Yeah, I'll get some Igrolith gold, I guess. 
Uh, the Igrolith is the other global map. Uh, Juice, I don't know if you're if you were here on Wednesday. Uh, on Wednesday, I attempted to fight a big super boss and failed. Today, I fought it and succeeded. And when its health dropped to zero, its health bar refilled. And I discovered that it has, I'm not exaggerating, 2.2 million health bars. <laughs> because it's something, like, that the whole online community is meant to collaborate on. <laughs> no one's expected to beat it in one. <laughs> it's just, it's such an absurd number. So yeah, that was certainly a thing to discover. Uh, but I just want to check if there are any cool new weapons. Sticking to dual guns and dual swords because it is my best set. Uh, uh, this is just a worse weapon in every way. Uh, however, my swords... The potential up is useful. But if I could get something better than that, I would be happy. Uh, if I could get something that increased overdrive, I'd be super happy. But those don't seem to be things you can buy. Which kinda sucks, but you know, I can live with it. Uh, what I did want to check, um, not just check, also just mention, because I haven't shown this on stream at all, is augments. You can create augments for your weapons that just straight up make your weapons better. Um... So you can get things that just make weapons more powerful. You need various items that you collect from certain enemies or from uh, or from the world. Uh, if you don't have them, you can uh, you can exchange reward tickets for them. Just kind of the best thing about reward tickets. But there's a particular one I'm looking for, and I'm not sure I can make special augments. Uh, not that one. Overdrive augments. Overdrive count up. This starts your overdrive just at a higher level. It's very, very useful. I don't even know what I need to make the first one of them. Which sucks. Um, what I can do, upgrade uh, battle traits, uh, lets you take your existing uh, augments and improve them. Now, I don't have what I need to do that, but I can try to get it. Uh, this is just a useful thing to do, by the way. It, if you can do this, it just makes your stuff better pretty easily. But there's not much I can do with that at the moment, which continues to suck. I come over here. I still had a quest that L wanted me to finish, so... Let me do that. Oh, welcome back. Uh, oh, I have to, I have to check the machine. There we go. Uh, basically, it lets me add extra augment slots to my existing gear. Uh, and you can see on the right there, everything takes a certain amount of meranium and has a maximum number of slots. Uh, so if something already has its slots full, you can't add extra. I realize this sounds slightly rude, but that's not the intention. Um, I'll just do something cheap, like this rifle. I don't care about it. I just want to finish the quest. There we go. And thus, new slots for augments are born in otherwise unremarkable equipment. All thanks to our handy new invention. I 
it's certainly it's certain to become a necessity for all self-respecting blades. And when they come by to avail themselves of this service, they'll be unable to pass up the rest of our fantastical collection. Which is actually very clever. Ah, uh, most excellent. You have our thanks. We are terribly eager to share these peerless works with all the citizens of New LA. I think your shop will be a huge success. Maybe I can stay on to help. You'll need someone to maintain your super machine after all, won't you? We would be delighted, as they say on Earth, only the very finest party in a store. Not what... But, mm, not what they say, but fair. Well, we are officially open for business, and it was you who made the grand opening possible. We hope you will accept this as thanks, and also be sure to frequent our shop. After all, a friend who spends is a friend in need. No, that's also not the same, but you're trying hard. Hope to see you again. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to finish that quest because I didn't... I was unable to finish it at the end of Wednesday's stream, and it was just... It was this little quest turd hanging off, and I wanted to pinch it off. Was that an awful thing to say? Yes. Am I going to apologize? No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I just made it. Whoops. Now the next quest I need to do before I can start the story is somewhere around here. This one? Okay. Uh, the Matchmaker. Yes, this is apparently the required quest uh, for the next one. Um, and the only restriction is I cannot have Lao with me. Which I don't, so that's fine. Hey, look who's here. Thanks again for the help last time. Hmm? Huh? When did you work with Elma's team? And you uh, ran off to do your own someone thing. Someone decided to just wander off and leave us high and dry? Oh, yeah, yeah. That. Well, I hope whoever it was got chewed out good. Looks like I owe you one, Elma. Order something if you like. My treat. Really? <laughs> Fucking Tatsu. Oh, Tatsu filled to bursting with food and joy. Lao is good and generous, friend. You tubby little. I said order something, not everything. It's okay, Lao. Next meal, it'll be Tatsu's turn. So, Shingo, you gonna say something? Go ahead and ask. I'm sure these ladies will give you better advice than I can. Uh -huh. in trouble with something? Oh, uh, I... It's not. Ooh, I know. Shingo has a crush on someone. Wait, what? How'd you know? Oh, come on. Seriously? It is kind of written all over his face. I know, right? He's a total open book. I get that a lot. If you're done making the poor man sweat, why don't you hear him out? But look. If this is about winning a girl's heart, Lau is probably the guy you want to ask. He knows you a lot better than we do since you work together and all. Also, Plus, he's he married, a little hard so can... uh... Yeah, bring up his dead wife. Sorry, yeah, that'll go well. I should get going. Uh, right. Of course, sir. Good luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Th thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. Don't really talk about Lao's family. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to. Mm. Hey. I don't think this is a good time to cheer her up, but I'm still going to attempt. <laughs> yeah, I don't really feel like smiling at the moment. He wasn't. <laughs> you heard him wish Shingo luck. Yes, yes. Angry loud, not talk like that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so if you don't mind, 
I really do need some advice on this. I'm at the end of my rope. Sure. Whatever we can do to help. Give him some advice on how to approach her. Um. Hmm. I. Hmm. This seems important while the world is at stake. Literally, actually at stake. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going too far. Think? Oh! It's just over here. I think. Who is she talking to? So that's her, huh? And you say her name's Dorothy? She's beautiful. Oh, gosh. Thanks. Not quite sure what you're taking credit for there, but okay. <laughs> Tatsu would go and ask Pretty Lady for her favorite food. You stay put, you. Man, she's too beautiful. She'll never go for a schlub like me. If only I could make her happy somehow. Yeah, find out her favorite food. No, no, do not confess your undying love. That's terrible. Also, don't get her a present if you don't know her. Why are both of these options awful? Have you introduced yourself? That might be a good place to start. What? Just out of the blue? Shouldn't I start with dinner or something? Yes, you should. Your dates are nice and all, but any schmo can ask a girl out. A surprise gift? Now that'll leave an impression. You sure it's not weird? Unusual, maybe, a little bit, but that's Zach. not necessarily bad. If the way she's dressed now is any indication, she's obviously into fashion. Why not give her a little accessory when you ask her out? A bracelet or something? That's perfect. I bet she'll love it. All right, I'll give it a try. Uh, but where am I supposed to find nice jewelry here on Mira? Tatsu have an idea. Cowardly friends should get Pretty Lady a shiny rock. That how Tatsu dead upon win the heart of Bob upon. Hey, not bad. You're kind of smart for a no-pon. Meh, since friends who need whole team to ask out girl. No, no, Tatsu is correct. What does friend think of this? Oh, that's lovely. It's no pun matchmaking stone. Super valuable. Worth more than almost any food. Sounds like a winner to me. Let's go track one down. We'll need someone to set it in a bracelet once we've found it. There's a jewelry shop in the commercial district. We can try bringing it there. I hate how accurate that is, Zach. Most of the time. There are exceptions. But not enough of them. <laughs> Sir, do you know about this particular stone? This is a stunning specimen. It better be, considering what we had to go through to get it. So, uh, how much to put that in a bracelet? Sorry, not gonna happen. What? Why not? I tested its hardness. That rock puts even diamonds to shame. Seriously? I'd really like to help, but my tools just can't handle it. Good. Sorry. By the way, I, I strongly suspect we were meant to go around and find the rock, but I'd already done so. I think After that's where we went to all that trouble. I never imagined it couldn't be done. Just because our tech can't handle it doesn't make it impossible. I met a man on Craftsman a while back who works with rare minerals. He's not cheap, but he's good. Why don't I introduce you? Sir, that would be amazing. Yes, yeah, sexy man is better. Um, Lau? 
about before. I know you've been working hard to help out one of my crew, Lynn. Thank you. I appreciate it. Of course. How about letting me join the fun from here? Heck yeah! More Lao action. Okay. Now we've got to head back to the man on ship, which... I mean, I could quick travel, but it actually doesn't take too long. Stand up before I can get out. Heck. Why can I not get out of my thing? Let me get out! I can't get out while I'm the elevator. Interesting. Huh. Whoops. Well, there goes my skull. <laughs> I will never get it back, even though it's in the hangar. Great. And yeah, we go to chat to the mana. And I do know that there is. There is a moment coming. Not bad, just curious. Oh hey, our things came with us. It is nice guy. I fought it once, I reduced its its health bar to zero, and then its health bar filled back up. What is this bullshit? But I, I will fight it again for you. I just want to finish this affinity mission. Uh, I didn't know we could take it on together, but yes. So how's it look? Yeah, it does, nice guy. That is a fact. I just don't know why. How much are we talking? Oh, he wants. That's it? Seriously? All he wants to do the work is pizza. I don't blame him. But I can't just order them on online, even though we apparently have like the best Wi-Fi in the universe because. Uh, because we can psychically communicate our brains from somewhere to here. Um. Uh, anyway. Before I do the... Uh, before I do the global nemesis with you, which, yes, that is definitely gonna happen. I just don't know my Nintendo Network ID, I, I have to admit. Um. Before I do that, I do want to yeah. uh, get uh, get my TP up so that I can overdrive immediately. Uh, and there's a better place to do it than just outside the gate. So give me a couple minutes, uh, and then we can try to take it on together. Yes, you're correct, nice guy. I haven't used the Wii U in so long, and in many ways it is mm, less convenient than the Switch. I don't even remember what my NNID is. Oh good, I don't have any friends yet. Uh, sure? Yes? 
Okay, just show me shit. There we go. I am Peak Sensei. I had forgotten that I called myself that. <laughs> <laughs> I had 100% forgotten that. Sure! Um, and meanwhile, I'll get some... I'll get some TP to get started. Uh, yes, Juice. Were you going to tell me that you're incredibly cute? Because I already know. Uh, where's my friend? There we go. This is a friend who's very good for getting TP out. That's fine, nice guy. Uh, I do think I'll have to finish this quest before we can do it together. Uh, just because... Oh no, I don't have to use my current... My current team to do it, so yeah. Is that is that I would rather have Nice Guy on my team in the thing where Nice Guy is literally attempting to be on my team. Uh, you know, I don't know that. For sure. It sounds like quite something, to be honest. Uh, although I do know that... Uh, I do know that uh, Ether can be less than ideal against Celestia. But I'm sure that there are other sides to that. Too. Blossom Dance ignores attribute resistance. Oh, wonder. I do love how many of the arcs in this game are named after arcs from Xenoblade 1. Or occasionally, instead of being named after arcs, they're just named after... Um... Uh, talent arts. God, I entirely forgot the word for a minute there. Anyway, meanwhile, I am going to try to finish this quest to to get a man a girlfriend, which is, you know, a thing you do. Army pizza. You here for a pie? No, I'm here for a pizza, and I've never understood why people compare them. What's that? You need 10 delivered ASAP? No sweat. For just 10,000 credits. 10,000 credits. I want to address the fact that these pizzas cost 10,000 essentially dollars. And no, this is not an issue of, like, yen versus dollar, because, like, 
some of the best weapons in the game cost less than that. Well, probably not the best, but, like, you can get a fucking gun for less money than that. These are expensive-ass pizzas. Fortunately, I have the money. These are headed out to Jeshiro's place, yeah? I'll have them there before the cheese begins to cool. You better. Uh, and let's head back to uh, to our gentleman friend. But yes, this is nothing more than the wingman. Sir, do you have your many pizzas? Yes. Hey, I'd like to have pizza deposit, you know. My whole family shrinks with happiness. Your family, huh? So you'll make the bracelet then? I gave you my word, remember? I, okay. That's not a comparison I would expect. Um, the bracelet is finished, if that's okay. Man, Dorothy's gonna love this. It's gorgeous. Thank you all so much. I'm going to go ask her out right now. I'm glad that worked out. I really hope she says yes after all this. Should we go see? You know it. Yes, go spy on the man. I still think it's weird to give someone a gift immediately upon meeting them. Like, that seems like a presumptive way to ask someone out. I don't super like it. Looks like that went well. Everything go according to Tatsu plan. Like they say, even a broken clock. I never really saw the point in mim relationships. But hey, I guess if it makes them happy. Hmm? Well, what do you mean? Uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Hmm. He wants his old fleshy body. He wants he, he wants his flesh body to have a relationship with another flesh body. I guess is a way to put that. Uh, you learned the sniper rifle art after burn. I don't use a sniper rifle, so that's not super useful for me. But it's still cool that Affinity Missions give you this shit. Oh, I think a thing just happened. Uh, so, let me check that. After this load. I don't know if anybody else has this. I always feel weird about pausing during a load screen. I always feel like it's gonna mess things up. Yes! God, the Wii U was so weirdly handholdy. Uh, I assume that's you, nice guy. never played online. This is going to be an interesting experience for me. Uh, and in fact, I... Oh, there we go. Invitation. Oh, shit. 
I've never done this before. This is very... All right. I'm ready to unload on him. Hey, there we go, Dunban. Holy shit, you have a ton of TP. Uh, okay, yeah. I say, let's go. Um... You know, I don't know how you pulled that off, but I'm very proud of you for your double nice HP. Oh, do we both have to? That makes sense. This is very Monster Hunter. Hell, anything that can help me... Uh survive longer against this guy, I'm satisfied with. What in blazes? Okay. You brought a skull. I approve. And wear them down. Smooth recovery. I appreciate Assault the help. Hammer. Black butterfly. Yes. Wait, did you use a skull? Recuperate. Energy source. Energy source. Say your prayers. Thank you. Smooth recovery. Thank you. Yeah, you're doing a shit ton of support stuff. Holy shit! 
sorry about that. I owe you one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that is something that happened uh, for those who who haven't seen it, which is everybody other than nice guy. Yeah, he reaches a point where he can reflect your uh, especially your ether attacks. And so that just ruins this. We got down one of his health bars. Why did I get nothing out of that? That sucks. I mean, that's exciting, nice guy. Um, yeah. Anything like that is cool. Also, Pikmin, uh, I would guess that it's AI just fudged up. So why is the why is the uh, EBD build so powerful? Because that that's one thing I feel like I just haven't managed to wrap my head around, which is how to deal more damage. Uh, infinite Overdrive with Ghost Walker, I've managed to pretty much sort out. But I, my, my damage is really, really low. I'm going to actually check if I've got Blast and Dirt. Oh shit, nice guy. I must look at that, because I'm not super interested in breaking appendages. That's weird, Pikmin, so that's just their behavior. Yeah, Core Crusher I must look at. Oh, uh, by the way, Chat, I did promise you that we would get to the main story today, and we still will. I'm just also having fun fighting the big bad. Or a big bad. Uh, not arts. Uh, no, Blossom Dance does not... Unless Blossom Dance is Samurai... No. I'm guessing it's something you get from an Affinity Mission. Ah, uh, no! My, my Ghost Walker was, was doing the job, thanks. Uh, I think I'll be fine with just Ghost Walker. You run what you would normally run. Um, the, the only issue I was having was Reflection. Which neither Ghost Factory nor Ghost Walker does anything. Okay, cool. Oh, I think I remember that Affinity Mission. Kinda cool. Worth noting, there is space for four skills here, because you can register skills to people other than Ivy, Lin, and Elf. So we could have a a Lao skill in here. We're not going to, because skills are expensive and they break. Has 2.2 million, not health, health 
barns. What an absurd... What an absurd concept that is. Oh, wait, it just occurred to me. I don't have any TP, do I? Nope. I got an item that increases my TP, and I have no idea how to use it. Oh, just inventory. There we go. I don't want to... No, I don't want to sell it. I want to use it. never used one of these. That's missions. Why did I go there? I assume that's something you do once battle starts. I feel like such a noob compared to you. <laughs> I really like this game, but I just don't have the level of experience you do. Which is not saying anything negative about you. I mean, I don't... Meh. Let's just say it's fun to have someone super experienced. Door? Oh! This is where you can sleep to change the time. Cool. Uh, what I will do while you're sorting stuff out is what I did earlier. Go fight a Sinicula to had to get my TP out. Which should only take a couple of minutes. rid of the... There we go. I'll start making range. Follow my lead. Cool, I learned something. Very well. Now, melee attack. Fire a hole. Time, time to attack. I'm ready. Right. Let's play the Let's go. Yeah, if you want to... Uh, let me just uh, head back to the barracks so I can join. Or, that's even easier. I've got about 4,000 TP, which is enough to get started. And now I will be curious to see you wreck shit. Alright. I'm ready to unload on them. <laughs> Shadow Mage, thank you for the deuce. We're fighting a big bad. Over here. Over here. Um. Okay, these are cool. I'll admit. I never considered doing these, but these are cool. Yeah, fine. The holograms are cool, I'll admit it. Let's do this in one go. Send a whole army. You can't stop me. Overdrive! Yeah, it turns out... Blossom Dance! Lethia's movements have quickened. Now smack that giant good. I'll start things at 
Because that's an absurd number under any circumstances. Shadow Mage. Although it does help that that nice guy is able to just take away entire health bars in single hits. Shadow Mage, that is both true and false. Context matters. Oh my god. Uh, if you look uh, above the health bar, uh, you'll see our key. That's how many health bars the enemy has left. It's frequently going down by like six or seven in a single attack. And that's not because of me. Well, it's good to know that Kiri getting more damage than I am getting is possible. 
Just long enough that my ghost walker ran out. Yeah, Shadow Mage, I remember when a one a one gig drive was very expensive. I'm gonna wait until until towards the end to respawn. But if we at least let the time run out, we get more out of this. I'll take it from here. Uh I have not been the greatest asset to this team, unfortunately. The party total there was just the maximum it can be. It was just all nines. Oh my god, I need to figure out how to do that kind of damage. Thank you. Uh, thank you, nice guy, for being part of that. I'm pretty sure I... I got some interesting rewards for that. Oh my god! Oh my god, how dare you? How dare you? It took me almost a full fight to do one of those. You did 500? Um... Guardian Skull. Well, yeah, you you were carrying me. That that's why that's why you didn't do as well as normal because you had to carry a complete amateur. Oh, we 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 go again. This is the last time though. For today. All right, I'm ready to unload on them. And this time, I don't even have enough TP. But I don't mind because this is fun. Okay. I I I'll watch you be rad. I mean, I appreciate this, nice guy. You, you, you are living up to your name.
Let's get some rage to see what's actually happening. Yes. Now tackle it up close. My God, my skills are not dealing thirty-six thousand damage. Six hundred and forty-one thousand damage. I. Hmm. I've got a lot of optimizations to do. Um, it, do it does feel like that, Shadow Mage. And I wouldn't have been surprised to see it. But thank you for the reward tickets. Oh, I didn't get reward tickets. I just got a shit ton of awesome items. What the fuck? That's amazing. Thank you so much. You sell those for reward tickets. That's good to know. Um, okay. So, I have a lot of work to do to be... To, to, to be ready to do more of that. But that's not happening today. Oh, is that what it is? Okay, so you can exchange these for, uh, for reward tickets. That is awesome. Uh, might as well get as many reward tickets as I can, frankly. Oh, that brings me perilously close to full, and I don't want to waste anything. You're a true bro, nice guy. I hope one day I can pay you back by being, like, at least vaguely as good and actually pulling my weight. It is much appreciated. Uh, anyway. In spite of having Lao, we immediately have to get rid of Lao. Because we can't start the next story mission with him. How depressing is that? Chapter 8, The Gathering Storm. Um, Shadow Mage, uh, I mean, my instinct is just Chimkin. Piccolo is a good name. Ooh, something braised in wine. Now that is a good idea. Lindley, Lindley, what is Lindley <laughs> making? That's a lovely sound. Oh, 
Oh shit, is this the one? If this is what I think it is, I thought this happened later. <laughs> Shoes. Oh shit. This is one of the cooler moments, if it's what I'm thinking of. Is that just the 20% siren? Citizens of NLA, this is Secretary Nagi. Those of you that have served under me, here or on the White Whale, know I'm not one to mince words. So, I'll get right to the point. We are at war. Oh shit, it is this chapter. Even now. The hostile alien force known as the Ganglia, marching on New Los Angeles. We know they possess L-class ground-based units, and we have reports of unidentified flying weaponry as well. Director General Shosan is attempting to open a dialogue. But yeah. the enemy has shown no signs of being open to negotiation. In light of all this, it is my duty to prepare us all for the worst. And this is why I've called an emergency assembly, all blade divisions. To be clear, none of this changes our mission with regards to recovering the life hold. But in the short term, it is absolutely crucial that we protect our city. I love Not just for this? our fellow humans, but for the mana and our other Xenoform allies as well. New Los Angeles is home to us all. Including our brothers and sisters yet to be awakened. In that spirit, the Manon have agreed to use their ship to ferry all non combatants out of the combat zone. This is a temporary measure, but also a very good example of how we all, human xenoform alike, must sacrifice and contribute to our common cause. Is it just me, or does Nagi look like. Fight. I promise you. Does Naki look like Reggie prevent, if he got any real buff? Any zone damaged or destroyed will be fully restored. Troops, a trying battle awaits us, but we must repel the coming invasion, no matter what the cost. We're counting on you. So yeah, I genuinely find this to be a fascinating moment in the game. We are just sitting ducks. Eventually, it makes sense that yes, they would attack us. They're not going to wait for us. They want to kill all humans, all so they do. Said. Ganglion forces are closing in on the city. I'd love it if Shosan could negotiate our way out of this, but we all know better. They've made their feelings about humans pretty clear. Our team has been assigned the most crucial defensive position. The Administrative District Gate. If we lose Blade HQ, that's it. Because oh lordy. We have to expect the Ganglion to know this, and we'll hit it hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no pressure there. Do we know where everyone else is stationed? Irina's by the entrance to the industrial district. 
Doug's on standby until we make visual contact with the enemy. And Lau's guarding the hangar. Tatsu will manage supply lines. Use Nopon connections to keep key materials stocked. Thanks, Tatsu. When this He's is actually over, being useful. I'll bake you into a delicious meal. <laughs> Tatsu heard you say into, Lindley. And you, Rook. You ready? Take them all on by myself. But yeah, the, the realistic thing here is, is there is an actual army approaching us. Yeah, yeah, it is an interesting decision they made. To be honest, me too. You'd be a fool not to be scared. So Elma is scared too? Of course. Bravery isn't about never being afraid. Bravery is being afraid and moving forward anyway. Very wise. Let's move out. Defend New LA against the onslaught. That's... that's all we get. That's also true, Stitch. Thank you for reminding us. I like this. The fact that there are actually uh, Nopan in the barracks. When Tatsu said he was handling the supply lines. Uh, yeah. Let's a fucking go. And yeah, we we are defending. Uh, we are defending the entrance closest to. Rain. Yeah, I, I like the title. Um, and I think importantly, it does make us sound like a more intimidating force. Uh, Shadow Mage, I don't quite know what you're talking about. Do, in what way do I have Chris Pratt on my screen? I guess. Brigadier General. Maybe if he, like, waxed his mustache up a bit. You know, we're in a life and death situation here. Oh, so I did, Shadow Mage. Your army has unlawfully crossed New LA's defense perimeter. You have 10 seconds to hold your advance and agree to negotiate. Hmm. And yeah, there are a lot of fuckers immediately. Enough that uh, that keeping up Ghost Walker, even in Infinite Overdrive, would be difficult. Now I am massively over leveled for this. Oh, 
So this will go fine, probably. I mean, that is true, nice guy. But also, I think, like, in canon, it's reasonable to assume that Elma indicates... that Elma represents about the strongest uh, most of these... Uh, most of the blades are. So anybody... Anybody at that level would be very rare. As I adore this game, and I've made no secret of that, visually it can be quite, quite abrasive. Let's generously put it that way. We cannot agree to that, because that's a terrible rule. Um, these guys don't approach, and I've got a minute and a half before, before others will. Rather, I, I've got less than a minute and a half. There are more dudes. Stitch, I love Cosmos. When I play, I want to get Cosmos. But I'm not going to reset my playthrough over a 1 in 1,000 chance. Which, for the many people who don't know Xenoblade Chronicles 2, yeah, there is a 1 in 1,000 chance of getting a particular rare character. Holy shit, nice guy. That is, that is it. more useful than shield hammer. It seems like it's working, Elma. The east gate is gonna hold. Where are they all? Could this really be all they have? Yeah, Elma asking the real questions. 
There was an entire fucking army out there. So far, so good. Let's keep it up. Oh, I thought it was one in one thousand. That's even more insane. Quimble. Uh, you can choose how you wish to spell Quimble. Alright. Who's next? Stand down, Lynn. We've cleared the area. Yeah, but a little too easy. No further hostile signatures detected. All enemy crafts in the combat arena have been destroyed. Roger that. We did it? We did it! Okay, so one in 1,000. Still pretty crazy. Yeah, that seemed very easy. I think you're right. That was way too few troops. They must be testing our defenses. Ugly aliens got one look at Hiro Pantatsu and surrendered. <laughs> Something tells me no. What, Shadow Mage? How? Yeah. I knew it. The ground attack was a feint. Everyone, we need to get back to the city. We're fighting inside the city? I know, Lynn, I know. We tried to avoid it, but now we have no choice. Better to risk damaging the city than losing it altogether. The hostile forces have the perimeter. They've entered LA airspace. Yeah. That's a lot. Let's move. Essentially, those are enormous flying aircraft carriers. Man, I've never played Room World Shadow Mage, but I should. <laughs> oh, wonderful reference, nice guy. Holy shit, who is that? Those two are a hell of a team. Missile! Take them out! Hey! Arena being a badass. Blowed up. Damn it. It's a direct hit. Lost it. The second you find the gold, I'll bring you back first. I swear it. Yeah, fortunately, that wasn't his real body, but. I mean, he is still at least temporarily gone. Uh, Shadow Mage, I'll send it to you after a stream. Mobilize all internal security. Any and all fighters on standby. Hey, that's us. Let's go help. But we can't leave the artifact unprotected. Wings team can handle it. They need us out there. Yes, sir.
Uh, one of the things that I do like in that scene with Irina, it kind of drives home the fact that in, in some games uh, and, and anime as well, you've got the one competent character in a world of incompetent people. And that's not the case here. There are a lot of incredible fighters here. A number of enemy scales have entered the city. Guess you take them head on or suggest a strategic withdrawal. Nope, take them head on. We've proven we can do it. Agreed. Let's give every ganglion we can find a nice warm welcome. Roger that. It's time. I appreciate that. Area discovered NLA lost defense. Ah, heck, I went the wrong way. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, it, it has many of the same uh, kind of story beats, Josh. The idea of the place we thought was safe, being attacked by our robotic enemies. It really does have a lot of the same story beats, which, which I appreciate. Uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, of parallels in stories. Why are you talking about lunch? Oh my god. Yeah, um, that's what I am doing my best to make sure of, nice guy. Uh, because I remember them being quite challenging. as what is essentially the game's first major boss. Shadow Mage, have you not seen her? 
She's a lady with tentacles on her head, and, al and also Uber. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore them and focus on him, the large one. Goetia, thank you. Are for pussies. <laughs> Get ready to grab Lin's hand and run. I'm not panicking. Fuck you. Yeah, you're right. It's much easier to be brave with you guys here. Sorry to worry you. I'll be fine. Now come on. Also, Stitch, how dare you? She, she's. I like Florence. Yeah. Florence is sweeter. The bossy one with the silver hair. with certain words. And one of them is the word sacrifice, which I cannot say correctly. I can only ever say snacrifice, because it's much funnier. is certainly a shot. Thank you for the rainbows, Pikmin. Wait. We 
don't have to continue like this. We don't have to, but we can. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Lost your nerve. <laughs> You're more useful alive. What? Go back to your people, your masters. Tell them we want no further conflict. What are the humans feet? are willing to negotiate? That we can find common ground and coexist here peacefully. <laughs> Don't tell me you honestly think you won here, do you? <laughs> what was that explosion? skill they couldn't get that we went to so much effort to get back and had just started studying. It's Mufasa. I vaguely remember that too, nice guy. Oh! You see, this is the advantage of having a lightsaber. Breathing fire, apparently. Oh, very large robot. No, Stitch. So yeah, it was just the two of them to infiltrate. Invade is a better word. A single scalp. Was this truly necessary? I have become party to madness. Cat boy and bunny girl. The greatest team up in history. Dragon Lady, yeah. No, you're right, Dragon is closer. Your target was the mech all along. Oh, you're so quick. I can see why they made you the leader. 
And now the Vita is ours. So you see, you didn't win anything. You lost. You sure about that? <laughs> uh, his name is Gus Yarg. I don't people remember managed how to spell. To swipe that alien mech out from under us. I'll give you that. But our mission was to repel the invasion and defend New LA at all costs. Nothing more, nothing less. In that, we succeeded. <laughs> For now, maybe. But you, you were sent here to take the city. And as far as I can tell, it's still standing. So I'd say you're the only loser here. <laughs> now, gonna need a burn on. heal. Tell your ganglion leaders you were beaten and deliver my message. Hurry up and go before I change my mind. Our people can coexist peacefully. We can't coexist, period. It's us or you, you arrogant worm. No negotiation, no compromise, and no mercy! What happened is that Elma is too soft for her own fucking good. Irina, Gwyn, thank God you're both all right. Yeah, we made it back, but Marcus wasn't so lucky. What happened? He took an enemy missile barrage. What? He's gone? Listen, Lieutenant, we're going to find that lifehold core. And when we do, Marcus will be the first one back in a brand new state of the art mim. I promise. I mean, once they find the lifehold core, that's completely unnecessary. He can just be in a body. I think I thought that was the whole point. Uh yeah, Shadow Mage, so that was covered in an earlier chapter. The the ganglion are not a race. The ganglion are you can't basically have a rainbow without rhyme, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the ganglion are basically a criminal family. They're they're alien mafia from several species. Uh, suggest that he gets the latest young and rugged model. Oh, these are both shitty options. I'll go with young and rugged. Yeah, something like Gwyn, only a bit more handsome. And maybe a little taller and slimmer, but with bigger muscles. Thanks, guys. No, seriously. Thanks. Uh, let's try to keep um, most uh, most spoilers to a minimum, nice guy. Um, even though a lot of it has been revealed... There's still. I, I feel like most people don't know well, the story. Last I heard, we weren't even sure what it was. Doesn't seem like much of a loss to me. If only it were that simple. That is perfectly fine. That I don't consider that a spoiler. The important thing is, we managed to repel the invasion force. We're still alive, and NLA is still standing. I'll take that as a victory. Hell yeah, the colonel's right. We did good here today. We won. Yeah, you're right. Bad guys confirmed bad. So hey, why don't we all go report back to HQ together? Sure. Sounds good. Actually, Irina, you guys should go on ahead. I have an errand to run with my team first. Oh, do Roger you? That. Then we'll see you back at headquarters in a bit. Josh, this entire soundtrack is amazing. Let's go check out the hangar. Right. So I said, Of them. I'll 
kill them with my own bare hands if I have to. Yeah, we should have killed her. This is going to come back hurt us badly. There's no excuse. This wouldn't have happened if I didn't order my men to leave their posts. We were just trying to help. It's okay. We should count ourselves lucky we ended up with so few casualties. Sorry to break up the love in, but you know... There must be something to that skull if they were this worried about it. That's fair. I wonder. The bigger question is how they even knew we had it. And how did they know exactly where we were keeping it? No way. Oh. Hmm. Yes, at last, the Great One's divine vessel is mine. I beg you, O oh Great One, descend to this humble planet and guide me. I am yours to command. So, a god? And they think the god is inside the thing? Very hard to figure out. And yeah, that's the entirety of Chapter 8. As I said, story chapters tend to be a little bit shorter. Have a good one, nice guy. Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for all your help with, uh, with Lethia. Okay. So Yeah, things are not looking great and Elma certainly gave Lao a sidelong glance. Uh, I want to do at least one affinity mission before stream ends. Sure, I'd much appreciate it. This requires Irina. Don't know where Irina is. Wang! Wang, your team was supposed to help. How's it going? Don't worry, Stitch. This affinity is less absurd. It pains me to say this, but I had absolutely no idea that defending the restricted hangar was such an important priority. Our entire defense strategy was based on the assumption that if, uh, that if their goal was to conquer the city, they'd attack Blade Tower. But if their goal was the extermination of humanity, they'd attack the Manon ship where the civilian population had taken them. No one expected them to steal the machine in the restricted hangar and then withdraw. Why was something so important just sitting in such a likely defended hangar in the first place, damn it? Eh, because no one knew how important it was. Hmm. Yeah, I just want to grab uh, one more affinity mission. Before stream ends. And you don't heck it. I'll check in the barracks what I need for the next story mission. But if I can grab that now, all the better. Great. I think the 
interestingly, I don't know where Irina hangs out. Yeah, I just want to check what I need for the next story mission, which would be mission uh, chapter 9. I cannot have Lau or Doug, that's fine. Man, Stitch, I'd like to get it higher. Install a data probe at Silverlum's entrance and complete Spy Games Affinity Mission. I have done both of those. I could technically start chapter 9 now. Um, I'm not going to. Let's do BFFs. Mr. Mustache is here. Right. Got a new mission for you. Tatsu happy to take request under consideration. After dinner. Quite a down turn up. The commander's here to talk important business. This doesn't have anything to do with you, okay? Well, actually it does. In fact, Hash Brown here is the linchpin to this assignment. Oh my. What? A mission that relies on Tatsu? What's the job? Basically, we want him to act as an emissary for us. Commissary? Sound delicious! Tatsu accept! He's not talking about food, dummy. He could be. It means to represent us to some other group. To act as an ambassador on our behalf. Aha! So friends choose Tatsu as most charming and attractive example of new LA residents. Well, mostly it's because we need to talk with your mama. Oh, this is just for the Nopon? Hey, don't sell those little critters short. The Nopon would make a crucial strategic ally. Uh, say it's because they're a powerful economic force? Say it's because they're so cute. Fuck it. Right? Uh, you wouldn't think it from looking at Tatsu, but Nopon kids are so adorable. They have their appeal, I suppose. Bopping around with those wee little nubs they have for hands and feet or whatever. And those big eyes that... Okay, that's not the point here. <laughs> the point is they play a critical role in trade and the whole economy here on here. It's true, they're skilled merchants. I'm sure sooner or later we'll need their cooperation if we want to build a unified human society. That's right. We can use all the know-how they have from interacting with the different tribes to keep everyone together. Tatsu got a bit lost at the end there, but understood parts about how great and awesome Nopon people are. <laughs> uh, right. Any, we'd be happy to host any Nopon inclined to move to New LA. And we'd like you to be the one to propose this new alliance. Understand? Sounds like we're going to see Coco. Yep, but that's just one stop on this little goodwill tour. Oh, my. I know you're already familiar with the Dodonga Caravan over in Nocturne. Then I also need you to visit the Dorian Caravan in Oblivion. Got it. Take them in whatever order you like. Uh, I've actually so already visited the Dorian Caravan. The Caravan. See if you can't get him to sign on his allies. We're counting on you. No problem for Tatsu. So yeah. The idea of this is just uh is just get get the Nopon to actually join us. Not just as other species on the planet, but specifically as allies of MLA. Stitch, it isn't even confirmed that there is a traitor at this point. Why would you assume such a thing? Hee <laughs> But no. Um, it seems very likely that there is a traitor. And Elma seems suspicious of Lau. Mostly because Elma's race is fine. Uh, 
please understand that I'm joking. but I'm just not able to at the moment. Jeff, why am I too bad at this game? You're very cute, Stitch. it before, I'll say it again. As good as this game is, it becomes so much better once you get a stealth. Just because traversing the very large world becomes both easier and more enjoyable. It's a very good answer, Shadow Mage. And also very true. It's not lack of cuteness, it's lack of cuteness accepted. I think this is the quickest way to get her over there. I mean, that's not true. I could quick track. No one, shut up. I'm just gonna drive away from the giant monster. Slightly rare items I'm trying to find. And they can be found around. I'm going to pick up as many of these as I can. Again, just gonna ignore this dude. Aim is to go around this lake and just pick up collectibles. I did this for like an hour before stream and I think I got five or six of the items I'm looking for. I need 14. They are unfortunately quite rare. But this is where we're looking to get, so no major issue there. Emissary with important treaty. You can't be 
here as secretary? To do what? Fool! Time to clearly say emissary! Are you the leader of this caravan? Oi, yes! Oh my god! Is he is he a member of organization 13? ULA want Dorian Caravan to sign treaty. Treaty will form allegiance between Caravan and City. A firm grievance? Caravan do something wrong? No, allegiance. It just means Mujiji and new LA humans become friends. Oi! Mujiji know what alley jets are. Mujiji not stupid. So, do you think maybe you could sign it? That depends on show of goodwill from friends of Tatsu. Goodwill? Oi! Friends want to form brotherhood with Dorian Caravan? Then Mujiji need contract fee first. Fee? How much Mujiji want? Hmm. Mujiji settle for this much. Seriously? That much? 30,000 credits is not that much. That's fine. Expected no less from a race of merchants. They won't even be offended at that. They view everything in terms of the bottom line. Say what you will, but at least they're honest about it. Friends understand. This makes everything easier. If Mujiji totally honest, this actually amazing bargain for caravan friendship. <laughs> Tatsu have no choice. Mujiji wait here. Tatsu You're correct, Pikmin, and I hate that. Friendship. Oi! Act now while supply lasts. Hey, listen. Okay, so I've already got the money. Sir, why do I have to get right up in your face? Friends bring contract fee? Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look at the green one behind him with the fucking Mickey Mouse ears. I love him. I mean, presumably it's like a hat, but it's adorable. And yeah, he, he's just perfect. Yes, payday! Whole caravan get loopy on pollen orbs tonight! <laughs> All the fluff shrooms we can eat! Joining Mujiji Caravan was best idea ever. Oi! Mujiji said so, right? Uh, yes! Good work, friends. Mujiji happy to sign treaty now. Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> All signed. Yay! We bought friendship! Thanks for your cooperation. Now Dorian Caravan and Big City are brothers. Caravan in trouble. Friends make sure to come to help. Sure. Next up, the Donga Caravan. Time to get treaty finished. I mean, that does feel like it went very well, so I suspect the next one will be a little bit more roundabout. Man, you really ain't gonna give me those eggs, are you? It didn't have to be like this. I don't wanna fight you, Marshall. Uh, okay. Hey, I got one of the eggs I needed. I just walked past a level 70 tyrant and did not get immediately destroyed. I am going to... I'm going to appreciate my luck there. Stitch, why would a liver fetch a hearty price? <laughs> I mean, Stitch, do as much as you want to. I never even played New Game Plus in Xenoblade 2.
So, I am the wrong person to ask. Yeah, I know because of Chuck and Conroy. I did not know before that. I assume New Game Plus was like it is in most RPGs, where it's just play the game again at a higher level. Well, then, Stitch, before New Game Plus, you have to do everything. Find every treasure trunk. There we go. Holy shit, Stitch. That's amazing. Somehow I never discovered that point in spite of going that close to it that often. Now we have to head to uh, to Noctony. I'm not sure what that means, but it is vaguely intimidating. Uh, I came to a place I didn't want to be. I... Hmm. Shadow Mage, I desperately wish I, I, I understood just any of that. What exactly are Boomalos? And why are you so sad to have killed them? Creatures in a room, room world, you try to befriend them, but they got angry and they have to die. Well, that seems like a them problem, not a you problem. By the way, it's worth noting that entire area up there, we still haven't visited. In spite of uh, in spite of Primordia being the first area of the game, there are still significant parts of it that we've never been to. Because this game is too big. I adore it. They're cute and produce milk. 
Okay, so they're pigs. It sounded like dying was the best thing they could have done for you and for everyone else. They're docile until they're not. is Coco. That's not your father. That's your brother. We've been through this already. Dadapon bring dinner? Dadapon have presents? Hold on, little pon. Calm down. Tatsu is not Dadapon. Tatsu is big brother pon. Aww. Why do little pon forget every time? And where is Mama Pon? Mama Pon gone fishing. Mama Pon left three days ago. But Mama Pond's still gone. Rip. Big Brother Pond bring dinner? Big Brother Pond bring fishy? Wait, Little Pond say Mama Pond is gone three days? Who uh, from what I've for three days? Uh, from what I've seen, but if you this stitch, with Mama you Pond would do an amazing work. Elvis no, cosplay. No, never. This first time. Oh, no. Friends, Tatsu must hurry and find Mama Pond. Yeah. Okay. So uh, d d does the game not give me any guidance? Do I have to speak to these two maybe? Jitsu was worried. Hmm, now that Jitsu think about it, this first time Mama Pan been gone for three days. Now Jitsu worried. Okay, that's fine. What about you? Do you know where she went? Uh... Wh what Surely it cannot simply be, go find her. That seems like with no guidance? There we go. Search for Coco near Noctilum's Cascade Isle. She's probably not dead. I'm just gonna quick travel closer because it can be fiddly to get there without quick traveling. I know it's possible, but I always struggle. Look at his diamonds. Ah! Ow! Ow! 
My skill just got shot out of the air by a crack. That's a sentence I said. There's a large gentleman intimidating her. And eating her fucking fish? How dare he. Fishing was for little pond, not big and dumb and ugly beastie. Now Coco feed them you instead. Coco show beastie what angry mama pond capable of. Fuck yeah, Coco. And you know what? Yeah. To defend Coco, we are going to use our fucking giant robot. Because you don't fuck with Coco. Let's move. Eat. Why, ugly critter, of course. Now go oh. good Tatsu and help Mama Pond carry it home. Mothers are nothing to mess with. No kidding. We probably didn't even need to help. Tatsu, didn't Commander Vandom have something for you to ask? <laughs> Tatsu almost completely forgets. Mama Pond? Mustache Man rest of ULA have request for the Donga Caravan. They want Mama Pan to sign treaty brought by emissary. Needy bought by cemetery? He's referring to an agreement that our city and your caravan will become allies, Coco. Oh ho! Well then, sound lovely! Then Mama Pan need to sign treaty. I don't think Juice was here yesterday. So I don't think Juice saw Coco, Coco the first time. Signed. Now, big city and Dodonga caravan, best of friends. Yay! We appreciate your cooperation. That complete, crucial, and important mission. Now, we report back to Mustache Man. Hell yeah. I'm just gonna quick travel for this end bit. If I can. The map was being uncooperative. than you.
Uh, the Nopon are setting up a local branch of their Nopon Commerce Guild arms manufacturing outfit. Boring name, I know, but I bet the stuff they sell is anything but. Head over to the AM Terminal in Armory, Armory Alley to check it out. So yeah, curiously, the Nopon start producing weapons. Which is not at all what I would expect from them. Yeah, just before stream ends, I'm gonna pop over there. As for Having play. more weapon options is always good. Uh, Nopon Commerce Guild. Commerce Guild started by the Enterprise of Nopon. Most of their products are thermal weapons that have been tuned to deliver greater magazine capacity. That's interesting. Um, so thermal, uh, basically just a, a form of damage over time. Uh, you know, yeah, let's... Let's at least get them to level 2. That didn't seem to give me anything. In which case, I'm going to pour it all into Meredith and company. Uh, Stitch, I didn't. Why must you lie? Why must you hurt me like that? Uh, there is... There's an old man called Core Crusher, and I don't know how to get that. Um, and I would like to. Because Core Crusher makes you deal, uh, just straight up deals more damage. Uh, I would like secondary uh, cooldown reducer as well. I don't know how to get any of these things. I would like them. Just like I would like overdrive count up. But apparently it's illegal. Uh, one thing that is actually very useful. If, if anybody's interested in playing this game themselves. Being able to nullify... A particular reflect is very very useful um, for example the the only thing that Telethia can really do to hurt me is reflect my ether attack so if I have nullify ether reflect um, especially if I get the XX version which has a hundred percent chance then I don't need to worry about that anymore and that's a huge thing to have um, what is soft touch? I just want to look through these quickly. Grants a 10% chance of not waking a sleeping enemy when attacking. That is lovely. But none of this is what I'm looking for. Uh, critical, I don't care about. Uh, just bypassing it, Juice. God, if I could reflect the reflect, that would be amazing. That is an armor one. Uh, ooh, EXP boost is actually a useful one to get. Uh, in some cases. This is also a super useful one. Um, I don't know what I need for it. Anti-spike. Some enemies have spike damage, which means either standing next to them or hitting them deals damage to you. It does that even through Ghost Walker, which is why some enemies just seem to completely ignore my Ghost Walker, because they're spiking me. 
It sucks. Uh, Treasure Sensor is an interesting one. It basically just increases the chances of getting rare items from you. Um, yet I can't find the thing I'm looking for. Which makes me sad. I'll look for it off stream. Um, but yeah. Thank you all so much for joining me. This was a lot of fun. I realized I was a little bit meandering at the start, and uh, especially Pikmin and Josh, uh, who, who stuck with me through the fuck-ups at the beginning of stream. It is much appreciated. I will be live again tomorrow at 5.30 Eastern Time, where I will be returning to Phoenix Wright, Justice for All, uh, which I'm very excited for. I'm sad to have missed it last week, but, I mean, I still had fun. So who should we raid? Um, Barry is live. Dan. Uh, Dither and Sunny are both live. Uh, Sar is live playing Legends Arceus. I'm worried that some people want to avoid spoilers. So uh, I might avoid anybody who's playing that. Um, any, any preferences for who to raid? If not, uh, I think I'm probably just going to um, I'm probably just going to rate Dither in that case. Uh, Dither's doing some art, and that's always a fun time. Looks like they might be doing marbles as well. Yeah, let's go say hi to Dither. Um. Yeah, as I said, thank you so much for joining me. I'm live again tomorrow at 5.30 Eastern Time. Uh, Y'all are rad. Stay cute. I will see you around. Have a good one, everyone. Ciao.